Hey guys, welcome back to All Things Electromechanical. Today we're going to work on this jack. Um, got a two and a half ton jack that's not working. The, uh, the mechanism to pump the fluid into the cylinder to lift, to lift the jack up is not working. The unit was sitting outside for quite some time and it looked like the plunger for the pump is seized so we're gonna have to go ahead and take this apart clean it up and see if we can get this thing to work again okay so there's a little bit of backstory to this jack i got this jack from a friend he's like yeah you can go ahead and have it if you can get it going so i did some research and what i noticed is when it was sitting outside the piston to this pump had seized up in the cylinder and he went to go use it um and from my research, there's a, a missing part here that connects the piston pin base to the to this to this pin right here, this pinlet. Now, with that missing, even if we clean up the piston and it can cycle up and down fine, we still need to be able to connect the pin base to this pinlet here. So we're gonna have to come up with something. Um, just sort temporarily until we can either order a part or make one. It looks like it'd be a flat base with two eyelets that connect to the pin and a cotter pin or a, a C-clip that would go into this groove on the pin base to connect the pinlet to the pin piston pin. Okay, so with the 17 millimeter wrench, gone ahead and cracked that loose. You can see now that's loose. I just used used a rubber mallet and whacked it loose. So go ahead and thread that off. And if you start leaking oil, just plug it back in. But I don't think we're gonna be leaking much oil. Okay, so this is the part that we're going to be working on. We're going to set this on the vise and see if we can get this to free up. But right now it's seized. Okay, so I put the, this piece in my vise and I use a, a rubber mallet and a bolt on the top and I just hammered it from the bottom. And then now I have two pieces. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean the pin here and inspect the inside of the cylinder we're going to clean the pin with some emery cloth and see if we can get this to move freely up and down again and what I'll do is I'll just put some emery cloth on a bolt put it inside and basically hone out the inside of the cylinder with some added WD-40 just to clean up the inside, make sure everything's smooth, smoothly working. So what we're gonna do now is lube up the, we're gonna lube up the O-ring with some a little bit of petroleum jelly, just it so it can slide easier. Put a little grease on it. Then we'll go ahead and insert in the cylinder and put it back on the jack and uh, see if it works. Okay, so I got the piston all cleaned up really good. I got the cylinder cleaned up and the O-rings and everything. Everything's cleaned up really good and I got it be able to move. You could see over there, everything's working how it should be. I went ahead and made my own part. Just something that would connect this piston to the lever and it'll just slide over and I'll take some wire I don't have a clip and I'll, and I'll ha put some wire in here just to retain that piece to the pump or to the piston that way I can connect my levers all right and then I just fastened basically this u-joint with this pinlet here to the piston of the pump and I put some wire in there to retain it as a c-clip and now it works it's connecting and all the parts internally are moving mechanically to accomplish one thing. 
and that is to pump our jack. Pump our lift cylinder and jack up our jack. And there it is. No leaks. So a couple tips and tricks. Jacks last a very long time if you take care of them. You notice by the rust here, keep your jacks inside. They're a tool that can last for many years. Keep your jacks inside. Don't store them outside. Oil this piston up. Keep it oiled. Keep all the components uh, oiled and rust free. And like I said, these things will last many years. If you ever run into this problem and, and you find a jack, maybe you find one at the yard sale or flea market or something pretty cheap and uh, you have a piston seize hey it's it's repairable this can be fixed um, and as you can see we we've, I've showed you here it can be done um, if you like this video and it helps you fix your jack hey uh, check out some of my other videos and subscribe and as always I uh, appreciate you guys for watching Okay, guys.